how to read and annotate an ebook on a PDF editor. Hello everyone, my name is Christina and welcome to the PDF Elements YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can transform your ebook experience by mastering the art of reading and annotating using a PDF editor for ebooks. In this video, we will explore ebooks on PDF Element. We will cover essential reading and annotation tips, helping you make the most of your ebooks. I'll be sharing some professional tips with you so that you can understand how to easily read and annotate ebooks, not just on desktop, but on your iPad as well. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to read PDF ebooks in the best way. Have you ever found yourself lost in the pages of an ebook, wishing you could make sense of the wealth of information at your fingertips? What if there was a way to not just read, but interact with your ebooks, making them an extension of your thoughts? In today's world, PDF ebooks have quickly become an essential tool in classrooms, playing a vital role in remote and hybrid learning. Their digital nature ensures educational materials are available around the clock, making learning seamless and flexible, whether students are in the classroom or at home. Sounds good, right? So let's make a comparison between ebooks and paper books to understand why ebooks are considered so useful in today's date. Now, let's look at paper books. They're often heavy, consume space, can be pricier, and take a toll on our environment. Whereas ebooks offer 24 7 availability, are environmentally friendly, enable content sharing, and come equipped with tools for optimal reading. From organized notes to versatile reading modes, you can take advantage of so much. And speaking of making the most of your digital resources, for all you students and educators out there, here's something tailored just for you. PDF Element has got your back this school season. If you're a student, make sure to check the link in the description below. Log in through the Student Beans account for an amazing student discount. You can get up to 63% off. And if you're an educator, just fill out a quick form on our website and we will reach out to you with your tailored plan. Make your academic journey smoother now with PDF Element. Now let's take a look into the brief table of contents to guide us through. We will be discussing tips to read and annotate an ebook on a PDF editor. So let's start with desktop users. Enjoy various reading modes. Ever wanted to customize how you read? PDF Element offers multiple modes to elevate your ebook reading experience. Let's learn how. Under the View tab, you can adjust the ways in which you view your ebook. You can adjust the zoom ratio. You can adjust how you want your ebook to display. Check the brand new AI read mode to elevate your reading experience. Experience the AI read mode using the explain tool. Delving into extended knowledge without disrupting your focused reading journey. Auto Bookmark can help make long ebooks organized and easy to locate. So, pick what works for you. Read multilingual content effortlessly. You can also read multilingual content on your ebook reader. Hi! Well, we will show you step by step. You can find the translate option in the new AI tool list. By choosing translate PDF, there is a pop-up box where you can select the target output language. Under this mode, you can get translated content instantly. If you don't want to translate the whole ebook, but focus just on a part of the content, choose AI Translate. Mm -hmm. 
reading foreign ebooks is no longer an obstacle. Create organized reading notes. Do you struggle with disorganized notes in your reading? Well, let's solve that today. With the PDF Element app, you can streamline your notes using tools like sticky notes, attachments, and more to keep everything in order. So let's see how. The first way to do this is to personalize your reading notes by adding text comments. You can do this by first going to the comment section in the title bar. Here you will find a variety of options. To add the text comments, simply click on the text comment icon. To add the comment, click wherever you want to add the text box on your ebook PDF. Next, just type the text that you want to add. You can also customize your text comment by choosing different colors, fonts, and sizes for your comments. There are many different options to choose from. Isn't that great? Remember the days of jotting down physical sticky notes and trying to make them stay put on textbook pages? Well, say goodbye to that hassle. Now you can easily add organized sticky notes directly in your PDFs in PDF Element. To do this, head over to the Comment tab and pick the Note option. Just choose it by taking your cursor to the icon that looks like a chat box and clicking on it. Next, just click wherever you want your sticky note to be. When you click, the sticky note will appear. Type whatever you want. Want a splash of color? Change the sticky notes shade from the pop-up options. If you change your mind about the text, there's a brush icon at the bottom left to clear it out. And if you're thinking, oops, wrong spot, just right click the note and hit delete. To make your life even more simple, you can add file attachments to your notes. What a great tool. This would not have been possible to do in traditional textbooks. This option will also be found under the comments tab. Choose the icon that looks like a paperclip and then click on the PDF to add the attachment. You can simply choose whichever file you want to attach. Once your file has been attached, you can open it anytime by double clicking on it. You can also change the style of this attachment by right clicking and going to properties. And here you can change the style of your attachment. You can choose from graph, paperclip, attachment, or tag. You can also change the color to whatever you want. This is a very useful tool for students, especially those who want to link their notes with important files or texts. So now you know what the best ways are to read PDF eBooks on your desktop. Let's see how you can get the most out of your iPad with PDF Editor for handwritten notes. Use the PDF Editor on your tablet to organize your handwritten notes for eBook flexibility. Taking notes on an eBook with your iPad offers the familiar feel of traditional note taking, but with the added benefits of digital convenience. First, if you want to add comments directly on the eBook, it's very straightforward. Open the eBook, access the comment section, and adjust the settings to your liking. For those who appreciate putting pen to paper, the PDF editor is right there with you. Once you've written your notes, open your PDF ebook and hit the Organize button. Then you can upload those scanned pages. You can then adjust their order, perfectly merging the charm of handwritten notes with digital organization. And do you want your notes to be even more organized? Well, for that, consider setting up a dedicated catalog page. Let me show you how to do that. To create a catalog page, go to Edit PDF. Choose Add Text and manually list out your handwritten notes.
Next, with the Insert option, introduce specific page links. By tapping and dragging each section, every piece of information becomes easily accessible. This way, your ebook transforms into not just a reading platform, but a well-organized collection of your thoughts. So there you have it, folks. We've just explored how to read and annotate ebooks with the PDF Element app, both on desktop and iPad. Thank you for tuning into this video, and if you enjoyed it or find it helpful, do hit that thumbs up button below and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future tips videos. Turn on those post notifications so you can stay updated on our newest videos on tips and tricks to make your work life easier. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.